I can remember as a kid, our mothers had this great network set up in the neighborhood. It was the shouting network. We'd head out of the house in the morning, we'd play all day at our friends' houses or somewhere in the neighborhood, and come lunch or supper time, mom would log on to the network. She'd step out on the porch and yell, Stephen, lunch is ready! And like the call to prayer in Islamabad, the cry would echo from house to house over the network as other moms heard my mother's missive. It would branch out radiating until it reached me playing street hockey three blocks away. And I would log on to the network and shout, coming, which would make its way back to my mother minutes before I appeared, ready for my chicken noodle soup and peanut butter sandwich. Well, today's wireless network is a little more sophisticated than the days of yore. I'm not sure it's more efficient, but now we have fancy cell phones and PDAs replacing mother's calls. And I have the newest phones on the market here for us. We have the Motorola Q for tech buffs, and for the fashion conscious, we have the Crazer. Now, last year's hot phone was called the Razor. This year, it's the Crazer. Next year, I suppose they're going to come up with the Blazer, which is a cell phone that you can wear as a jacket. Then again, maybe not. But... The Crazer is all about style. It's got a very funky case. It's kind of got this translucent blue case, which is very appealing. It's also very streamlined, very slim, and it's all about mixed media. It has a two megapixel digital camera built into it, so you can take fairly high resolution photos. It'll support digital music and movies, and it's all about Bluetooth. Not just regular old Bluetooth, no, but stereo Bluetooth, so you can listen to music on it in stereo on your headsets. Yep, the Crazer is all about style. Now, for the poor working stiffs, the Q is Motorola's answer to the BlackBerry type devices. The Q is based on Windows Mobile operating system. It has a very elegant form factor. It's very sleek, very streamlined. It's a really appealing piece of hardware. Now, because it's based on Windows Mobile, it's also very expandable. We can add to its functionality a lot, both in software, and it also has expansion slots. It has a mini SD slot here, so we can add more memory. But at its heart, you still end up using it very similarly to a BlackBerry. You will send and receive email with it. You use it for a little bit of web browsing, for a lot of time and contact management. It interfaces faces flawlessly with Outlook. So it's a very useful PDA. But as far as a PDA is concerned, it's really the closest thing I've seen to a PC in a PDA. Now, at the completely other end of the spectrum is this. It's the Buddy, a GPS safety phone. It's a phone for your kids. Actually, it's a phone for you that you give to your kids. Not much to look at. It is simple elegance technically. This is the whole phone. It's not a flip phone. It doesn't open up. There's no dial pad. There's no dial pad because it's not designed for kids to make phone calls to their friends or their friends to phone them. And it's not designed for you to be able to text message the cute girl at the next desk. It's designed for peace of mind for the family. It's designed for parents and caretakers to get in touch with their kids and for kids to get in touch with their parents and caretakers. It's got three quick dial numbers. We have user defined buttons that we set phone numbers into so they can phone you, they can phone your wife, and they can phone grandma and granddad, whoever we want. It also has a button here for sending emergency text messages. If you haven't picked the kids up, they try and phone you, they can't get in touch, they can hit that button and it'll send a text message to several phones saying, please get in touch with me, I don't know where you are, or there's something amiss, I'd like you to get in touch with me. And it's all managed through a web-based interface. Now, the other key piece of magic to this is that it has a built-in GPS, meaning not only can your kids get in touch with you and you can get in touch with your kids through the cell phone capabilities, but using the web interface, we can also locate where the phone is using the GPS satellite network. I got to show you how it all works. I've logged into my account at thebuddyforkids.com and I want to show you the setup, how you actually first set up the Buddy for your family or for your kids. Now, all of the different numbers that you want to be able to access are defined here in the web browser interface. And this is just a regular internet interface. So you can do this from the computer at home, at work. You can even do it from a mobile computer that you're traveling around with, from a PDA. So I can go in and I establish the quick dial numbers. Those are the numbers that each of the buttons will dial. So if you're not near your cell phone, but you're in, say, a meeting and you have a phone in the, in the meeting room and you want the kids to be able to reach you, you can actually just dynamically change this number at any time. And I should point out that your kid's phone is a regular cell phone. It has a regular phone number. It's actually on the Rogers network. You plug the SIM card in, so it's treated just like a regular cell phone as far as accounting and all other purposes are concerned. So you set your quick dial numbers first, and then you set the numbers that you want to have text messages sent to. And the text messaging is a very important part of the equation. I'll show you more on that in a minute. And then finally, you can also restrict incoming numbers for security or other purposes. So you can set up a defined list of numbers that can 
phone or you can leave it open for all numbers to be able to phone the buddy phone. Now once you set it all up, then you can use the other features such as the where are you and the geofencing. Now because we have a GPS built into it, we can set up locations that we want to know the kids are in. For example, I've set up a school and a hockey location for this phone and I put in the address of where the phone should be for those events and then I can set up a virtual boundary so that if a kid moves out or into these areas, I'll get a short text message. So example, when I was driving into work today, I, as I moved into the office, it sent me a message saying that Stotto Jr., that's me, has moved in to the school boundary, which I set up as the office here. And the final part of this equation is the where are you. And the where are you launches the GPS network and brings back where physically the phone is located. And here it is at the studios here so you can know exactly where your kids are at any time. You know, I kind of miss the old ways of calling the kids in the neighborhood. It's a sound that you probably won't hear again in this newer and darker age. But with the buddy for kids, you're going to hear at the other end of the line, your child's voice. And for any parent, that's sweet music indeed. Knowing where they are and being able to reach them, that is good stuff. And speaking of good stuff, we've run out of good stuff for the show today. But never fear, I will head out and refill my Santa sack and return next time with more goodies to slip under the tree because there is so much more out there that I want you to see. We'll see you next time right here on Dotto Tech.